and that was new mission specialist Greg Shamatov talking with the space station Capcom Robert Hanley about the video being sent down at the moment from the International Space Station, video taken from one of the station's windows. Shamatov, as you heard, is getting ready to return to the Earth following the STS-126 mission. You can see Endeavour just coming into view here for its docking with the International Space Station. That docking occurred at 4.01 p.m. Central Time today, followed by the official hatch opening at 6.16 p.m. And then once those hatches were opened, one of the first priorities was to get Shamatov's seat liner for the Russian Soyuz vehicle transferred to the Endeavour so that he could return home with it at the end of STS-126 15-day mission. Shamatov got his seat liner to the Endeavour at 8.50 p.m. Central Time and former mission specialist Sandy Magnus got her seat liner to the International Space Station making official her addition to the Space Station's Expedition 18 crew as Flight Engineer 2. That marked the end of a 167 day stint as the Space Station Flight Engineer 2 that Shamatov had been working on since the Space Shuttle Discovery brought him to the station on June 2nd during the STS-124 mission. This is Sandy Magnus's second trip to space. She also visited the space station aboard the Space Shuttle Atlantis in 2002 when an Atlantis delivered the S-1 truss segment to the station. That mission lasted less than 11 days, however, and this time Magnus is scheduled to stay several months as the new Expedition Flight Engineer 2. She'll be coming back on the Space Shuttle Discovery after STS-119 mission, which is currently scheduled for February. This view, you can see Endeavour flying past the Russian Soyuz vehicle in the foreground. The swap of the seat liners that marked the official crew exchange between Greg Shamatov and Sandy Magnus was aimed at getting seat liners that would allow them to return to Earth in the Soyuz should they need to in an emergency. That's it.